Uh, according to the Chinese horoscope, I was born in the year of the tiger. You are a very lucky young man. Christ, Daniel. That lives on the phone. My dear friend, my name is Madame Moon. I am the woman you helped in the rain about six months ago. It took me a while to trace you, but I wanted you to have this small gift. Mi amor, mi amor. Asuncion, you scared me. Scare you? I love you, Bobby. Why don't you let me come up to your home anymore? We'll talk later, all right? No, I can talk to you about this. Asuncion, ¿qué estás haciendo? Nada, nada, eh. estoy tomando aire. Ay, este viejo de mierda. He doesn't let me breathe. Dos minutos, toma la calle, viejo. Me tienes que estar vigilando todo el día. And to tell you, my brothers, and to tell you, my sisters, the devil is waiting. The devil, the master of evil, is waiting to seduce you. Take a good look inside yourself, my friend, and you will find there's nothing there. There's nothing there. It's empty. The good Lord has gone. In this weather, he's probably taking off to get himself a cold beer. Sounds like a plan. Hey, want a beer? No, thanks. Here, take a look at that. It's a beauty. Damn, that's a lot of phone calls. Who's got the big mouth? Hey, Scott, you blew it, huh? Well, buddy, I didn't see you as an engineer anyway. You listening to me? That's my back, OK? You want to know something? You probably would have pulled it off if it hadn't been for that leg of yours. What's my busted leg got to do with your exam? What's it got to do with it? 
I didn't have time to study. I had to look after you, dress you, work your shifts on the rickshaw. Only thing I didn't do for you was wipe your ass. <laughs> right, so it's my fault. I can't help but you got shit for brains. I risk breaking my neck to avoid that friggin' snake. Look, cut the bullshit. Everyone knows you were piss-ass drunk. And I'm telling you, I saw a cobra crossing the street when I was running with the rickshaw. Yeah, right. A cobra in Coconut Grove? Come on. <laughs> hey, make it a short call. The phone costs, you know? I am your humble servant. The good Lord, the good Lord has guided you to follow me, to support me, to obey me. You have made me rich and powerful so that I can show you the glory of God. Contact my secretary. It's on your mobile phone. It could be Jason. No, it couldn't. Take my wife home. I'll see you later, honey. Reverend Martin. The package has arrived at its destination. I'll bring it here. Babe, right with me, give you a discount. I'll carry you my arms if you prefer. Hey, Tiger. You want to forget the book for a while? It's forgotten. Where are we going? Biscayne Harbor. Come in and catch your breath. No, I really should be getting back to work. It's too good a chance to miss.
Come on, take off your shoes. This isn't exactly the form of payment I was expecting. I'll pay you for the rickshaw ride, too. What was that? What was what? That noise. I didn't hear anything. Oh, God, you son of a bitch. <coughs> hey, Scott! What's the matter? Show must go on. What'd you say? Don't you rickshaw guys work for tips? Is a hundred bucks enough? Wish you hot, babe. What? The little nympho. She got it up just by looking at me. <laughs> I've said it time and time again. You're a real putz. You get yourself a luxury lay, you pick up a neat hundred, and what do you do? You screw it up. Is that the guy? It's trashed. 
I wonder what he's saying about that key. If you ask me, I think it's some kind of message. Yeah, but what message? This isn't even the right cassette. Son of a bitch rolled me the wrong one. So where are you going? I'm going back to the yacht. You think I want him jerking off to me? Why not? Everybody else does. I saw someone dive off the boat. Well, where is he? Over there, man, by the other boat. I'll radio in. I'm in deep shit, Daniel. The guy's dead. My prints must be all over the place. Hey, if you didn't waste the creep, what are you worried about? I just told you, man, I'm busted! My prints, my blood, it's all over the boat. You just finished telling me the boat went up in flames, right? I'll go to the cops. I'm gonna tell them everything. What, are you crazy? You think the cops are gonna believe you? No one knows you're on that yacht apart from the girl. And you know she ain't about to go screaming to the cops. Let's just wait and see what the papers say. This is the only thing connecting you to the dead guy. And we're gonna make it disappear. Preacher Reverend Mortem, but the body hasn't been identified yet. It was burned to a cinder. Anybody else on board? Apparently, someone dived off the yacht during the fire, but our divers come with a big fat silch. Could have been the killer. Mortem family been informed? They're doing it now. It's been a hell of a day. My horoscope said today was going to be a bitch. Horoscope.
Somebody got there before me. Yes, I know who it is. Relax, please. I'll get back to you. Hey, Scott, wake up. Guess who the stiff was? Reverend Mortem's son. The body was fried, but they could identify it because he has a thumb missing on one hand. You guys were born the same day. Isn't that something? He was born June 6, 1966. Right. Come on. You can tell your old buddy Daniel. You didn't want to share your birthday, so you burned his ass. You killed him. Hey, Scott! Don't you say that! Don't ever say it again! Come on! You're strangling me! What are you, crazy? My dear friend, my name is Madame Moon. I am the woman you helped in the rain about six months ago. Hi, Scott. Please, let me give you a ride. You want to ride, buddy? <laughs> Hey, the boss is really mad. He waited till a few minutes ago. It's a busy night tonight. Oh, yeah, this weird-looking guy came by asking for you. For the guy with the tiger. What do you want? Don't know. He wasn't gay. I would have hung on to him otherwise. Hey, what's going on? Sir, would you like a ride? Sure. Take me downtown.
Scott's friend, aren't you? When's he coming home? He won't be early. I can wait. Who are you? I ask the questions. I don't know nothing. I think you're forgetting who's holding the aces here, pal. Want me to break your other leg? This little toy makes big holes without any noise. I had nothing to do with what Scott did. He didn't kill Jason Morta, if that's what you want to know. How do you know that? I believe him. Oh, don't you make a cute couple. So why did he put the cassette in the oven? I did that. Scott took it off the guy who was filming him while he was doing the horror. They had a fight and Scott beat the hell out of the creep. And he took the wrong cassette. So he went back to the yacht to find the right one. And he found the body. Or maybe Scott killed him. Are you a cop? No, not quite. I'm the guy who wasted Jason Mortem. I was looking for something on that yacht. But I didn't leave my business card. Your buddy did. And he got scared. That's why he burned the yacht. This is a cassette he was looking for. And this little baby would put his ass away for a long time. Maybe the tape in the oven is the one that I needed. But I can't watch it now, thanks to you. I want you to tell me what you saw on the tape. And maybe we'll destroy it, just like the other one. <laughs> Who's to say you didn't duplicate it? Maybe I did, but you don't have a choice. You gotta trust me. What's on the cassette? The picture wasn't too good. It was like, it was making a confession or something. The guy was holding up a key he had hung around his neck. A key? Yeah, a key to a safe or a safety deposit box, something like that. Anyways, that's all I saw. I kept my word, but I think your buddy knows where the key is, and I certainly hope he's going to be just as cooperative. And just as dumb. There was a fire in the apartment, and the kid living there was murdered. What? This is the second body in two days involved in a fire. Poor bastard could tell us more than the last one. Have ballistics compare the bullet with one that killed Jason Morton. Might have been fired from the same gun. That's strange. This dresser isn't even burned. Lieutenant. Hey, 
So, who is this Scott Edwards? The kid who shared the apartment with the dead guy. They were both part-time rickshaw pullers in Coconut Grove. Where is he now? A woman saw him out in the street with the rest of the crowd, and then he disappeared. Find him? Hey, Lieutenant. Take a look at this. That will get anything out of this. Well, it may just be a coincidence, but I heard that Jason Morton was a video freak. He liked to film sex. Are you kidding? Reverend Morton's son, Peeping Tom? Hmm. Who are you? Let's just say I'm the milkman. Take a walk. It's a shame about all those missing kids. You understand what I'm saying? Open the door. a lot less. <coughs> Whose room is this? One of the girls I work with. She's working at the club right now. certainly look better in real life. What? I caught your video act with the rickshaw kid. You're quite an actress. Hey, look. What do you want? I had nothing to do with that pig's death. I want you to continue the act. I want you to tell the cops that the rickshaw kid wasted Jason Mortem. Why? I'm looking for a certain key, and I think he knows where it is, but the little pricks disappeared. So I figure after you point the finger at him, He's going to come looking for you. But you can bet your sweet ass that I'm going to get to him before the cops do. What about the killer? Is he a maniac? Please. Is it true there was an orgy on the yacht? The girl accusing him, is she a prostitute? Oh, come on, guys. Is it true the Martin murder is somehow connected with the Daniel Blake killing? Lieutenant, you said Why was, was the reverend's son killed? Look, we're studying every piece of evidence that's coming in about this case, OK? We'll get to you guys later. Is this any relationship? Could, could have been a sex maniac. We'll keep you informed as the investigation continues. Right now, let us get back to work. One more question. The comfort and sympathy shown by you, my friends, the friends of my church, will help my wife, Sarah, and myself to overcome the terrible tragedy of our son's death. I've been told to make no statements at this time. Mrs. Mortimer, I realize this is a hard time for you, but... However, I will make one declaration I will make. I, I 
I am quite certain that divine providence will intervene to reveal the truth about about the death of our son. Oh, okay, okay, remember that. I'm the one. I'm the one. Find out about this. I'm what the one. Want me to read it to you? I'd like to sign it and go. Could be indicted for false testimony if you haven't told the truth. Read it. Check to see if everything's okay. I'm sure it's just fine. Look, I gave you guys the facts. I told you what I saw. The rickshaw kid killed him. If I hadn't gotten out of there when I did, he would have killed me too. Where do I sign? Right here. Can I go? Yeah, sure. This way. You won't bump into the press. Inform us of your movements. We might have to talk to you again. Don't forget. How could I, Lieutenant? Well, this wraps up the case. Now all you have to do is find the rickshaw kid. I think your horoscope for today says to think real hard before opening your mouth. Maybe. I haven't had time to read it yet. Police are on the lookout for Scott Edwards, a student and part-time rickshaw puller in Coconut Grove. There is reason to believe that Edwards is also responsible for the death of Daniel Blake, with whom he worked and shared an apartment. The person accusing Edwards of killing Jason Mortem is a young striptease artist named Joanna Simpson. Finished for the day? Lucky you. I'll see you at home, Mary Jo. Yeah. Ask you a few questions, Joanne. Come on, let's go drive. I've got nothing to say to you. Get out or I'll scream. If you scream, I swear to God, I'm gonna stick you with this thing, all right? I found it in the gutter. I'm sure you're familiar with AIDS. Let's go drive. Those are cops in that car. They'll follow us. Don't worry about it, all right? Let's just go drive. Come on! You're fucking deaf, let's go! Thank you. 
Are the cops following us? No. Go to the top floor. Get out, we're changing cars. Would you let me explain? Explain what? That I'm in a shitload of trouble thanks to you? Wait a minute. All I did was set you up in front of that mirror. I was paid to do it. The rest of this shit is your fault. Well, what the fuck was I supposed to do? Just go ahead and let that porno freak film my bare ass? They paid better. Didn't you know that? No, I didn't know that. It's not my game. What is your game? Killing people? I didn't kill anybody. You were there, and you saw what happened. You beat him to death! I did not! The guy was alive when we left the yacht! I only told the police what I saw. Bullshit! The cops are saying you saw me kill the guy. Scott, careful. That guy's been looking for you. Take it easy, man. Come on. Officer Kowalski, we've located the suspect's car.
leaving this place until you've told me everything I want to know. You're the one who got me into this shit. You got yourself into this shit. You're only making things worse. Now you're a kidnapper, too? Who the hell was that guy who attacked me in the parking lot? A guy who knows everything that happened between you and Jason Mortem. And who wants something only you can give him, seeing as how the other guy's dead. I didn't kill him. Sit down. Killing me with that gun would be really stupid. It already killed Jason Mortem. And probably your buddy, too. I didn't kill Daniel, either. He was my best friend, for Christ's sakes. I'll pin three murders on you in a flash. I can't believe you went to the cops and told him all those lies about me. He forced me to, so that he could get to you. But you were smarter than he. And I helped you. Why did he force you? I mean, what does he want that only I have? Not now, baby. What? Come here. After I've taken a shower. Take it easy. You make a move and I might have you arrested for rape. He wants to get to you before the police do. Why? He says you know what happened to a certain key. A key? Some key Jason Mortem carried around with him? Oh, I remember. He, he had it on a chain around his neck. Broke off during the fight. I think I know where it is. Maybe the key will get you out of this mess if you turn it into the police. Mm. What's wrong? <sighs> That's nothing. Just haven't slept in three days. So sleep now. <sighs> Can I trust you? Tie me to the bed. You're sure this is the guy that followed Edwards into the parking garage? Francis O'Connor, multiple killer, belongs to some fanatical religious sect. One of the few survivors of the mass suicide in Guyana in 1978. Okay, I want a detailed report on the murders of Jason Mortem and Daniel Blake. Anything that's weird and coincidental. Okay, guys? What have you got in mind? I'm not sure. Nothing fits. Nothing makes any sense. For example? The fires. The one in the yacht and the one in the apartment. I mean, things just don't burst into flames by themselves. There's not a trace of what set them off. What else? Scott Edwards. If you shot Mortem in the yacht, would you go to your apartment and shoot your roommate with the same gun? No, but if the guy's a psycho, and don't forget about the girl, her testimony is solid. Scott Edwards is considered a serious and hardworking kid according to his university professors and the rickshaw pullers. As far as the girl's concerned, I think she's hiding something. Hello? Joanna? I have 
to see you right now. Joanna. Where have you been? I phoned home to talk to my roommate. I didn't want to risk it from here. They could have put a tap on my phone. Sweetheart, if I was going to screw you over, I had all night long to do it. Why don't you just put down that gun? It's not your style. What's this? I bought you these. The others are beginning to smell. <laughs> Forget it. You'll never be able to find the key there. Look at the color of the water. Look, I gotta try. I know it's down here. What a beautiful cat. I wonder who it belongs to. I don't touch it. It's only a cat. Hey. Huh? Snap out of it. This isn't just any cat. It belongs to some old Chinese lady. Look, it's like it's showing me exactly where to dive in. Find it. I guess that's it. Sky, let's go tell everything to the police. They've got to believe us. No, I want to give it one more try.
never trust a whore. Give me the key. What key? <laughs> One twenty one, Government Center Station. Thank you, my friend. This is a curious coincidence. Scott Edwards and Jason Morton were born on the same day. They did includes four sixes. Of course, the sixth day of the sixth month of 1966. According to the Chinese calendar, that is the high point of the year of the tiger, the day of maximum power. Information you won't find on your computer. <laughs> if you like, I can lend you my book on the Chinese horoscope. No, thanks. Hello. It's Scott Edwards. This is Lieutenant Morgan. Listen, Lieutenant, I'm not your killer. I'm an innocent victim of a goddamn conspiracy going on. Hello? Hello? Did you trace that call? Yes, Lieutenant. It's a payphone down at Biscayne Harbor. A cruiser's on its way. Good. We lost him. Check the streets. He could have gone far. Preston, come with me. What do you do? In the bedroom. One of the drawers in that piece of furniture is open. It was 
a Chinese talisman in this drawer. Well, it's gone. It must have been pretty important for him to come back for it. Do we have a picture of it? Yes. Good. See you again. You do not answer my summons. Do not be afraid. There is nothing to fear from me. My cat and I have watched over you since your birth. The Chinese object you are holding contains the story of your life and the task divine will has entrusted to you. as I imagined. It's an antique Chinese legend. In the year of the tiger, the 9,999th time that symbol returns to the celestial sphere, a man from the other side of the world will bring back the stone of evil inside the urn of wisdom. And that same urn will prevent the stone from using its evil powers. What sense do those Chinese legends have today, Professor Clint? More than you might imagine. The new generation takes increased interest in the magic and mystic of life. My own university classes in Chinese mythology and mysticism that until a few years ago were almost totally ignored are now crammed to overflowing with young students. Scott Edwards' birthday. Right comparison to the Chinese, we walk upside down. I get the feeling you'll be checking your horoscope tomorrow. Where are you going? Is that you, Master? I've been waiting for you. I didn't expect to find you here, Master. Where is it? It's in a locker at Government Center Station. I'll go get it tonight. Good. Now all we have to do is obliterate the Chinese witch. Yeah. I... I am the millinery daughter of wisdom. My life is neither time nor space. This urn used to contain the symbol of evil taken from ten Yama kings by the terrible Taiyo. It is only right that you should know what happened in that bed such a long time ago. A time that is not of this time, but a time beyond the confines of the human mind. Past and present, no, no chronological order. I was young and beautiful. I always had been, for the divine wisdom in me overcame old age and death. That man succeeded in enchanting me. I told him all my secrets, secrets entrusted to me by the gods from the beginning of time. I had my secrets, but I never knew love until I met Morton. He did not love me. He loved only power, success. He knew he could have all that 
once in possession of that stone of evil, a sculpture in the shape of an ugly bull. Once out of its jade ampulla and in impure hands, the statue was ready once again to release its terrible negative force. The loss of the boar was putting an end to my immortality. Evil has a thousand faces, young man. Seduction, the greatest ally of death. Then what happened? I persuaded Jason Morton to steal the idol from his father. Jason had your same astral characteristics, but he was the son of evil, full of shameful vices. Jason was weak compared to his driven, immoral father. Jason managed to obtain the idol, but instead of returning it to me, he spitefully blackmailed the Reverend, who sent a believer, a cold-blooded killer, to murder his own son. And the killer took the key. He must have given it to Reverend Mortem. Not yet. Now it is up to you to close the ring of antique prophecy. You must recover the key by dawn tomorrow. A battle you will have to fight using your own wits. The talisman also depicts a woman. She will help you. You have nothing more to fear from her. Joanna brought us together. And I'm supposed to believe you're on my team now? I always have been. The truth is full of surprises. Scott, he's more important to me than anything else. You should have told me. I would have understood. Would you have? I've been hurt by so many men before, I couldn't take the chance. Taxi!
I know you are here, Samuel. But this time, I can defend myself against you. Push on! Now you will never stop me. Now you'll never stop me. I shall kill you. God was it help me? I shall kill you. God was it help me?
dad is innocent. You wouldn't believe the whole story. I didn't believe what you said then was the truth. Try me again. Maybe this time you'll get lucky. and walk. Everything's like before. Yes. What about Reverend Mortem? He is the last idol we must defeat. Something he's about to take care of for himself. You are finished? You may go. Welcome, my friends. My faithful friends. My beloved friends. The Lord has seen fit to subject me to terrible test. The loss of my only son. Now that I weep, you weep with me. Okay, Tom, take one on the orders. I know, you weep with me. But let us return to the scriptures. The Lord said to Samuel, Raise yourself above pain and turn to your flock. They are your only children now. So I bade, I bade the word of the Lord. And I returned to my children. I came back to my flock to guide, to guide my flock. My Steve, children, give me a close up of the lady in the black, family, the one who's crying. For I'm the She's head of this fourth family. one from the end in the second row. And God is the head of all of us, God is above us all. The shine's here in our What's house. this? What the heck is going on here? Hey! This is our house. This is our house, my dear friends. This is our home. And because of that, I, I want to be to you. We need money. Like every other house in the land, we gotta buy... <coughs> we gotta buy groceries. <laughs> we gotta buy groceries. <laughs> They gotta pay the <laughs> Something wrong with this mic. Hey, what's going on? Look at Hey you. There's something wrong with the mic every time I'm <laughs> Hey. Jeez. Cut the goddamn monitor. The Chinese go. <laughs> Chinese. Will somebody tell me what's going on? Who is putting these pictures out? It's pointless, Samuel. This is the end. To have your son murdered by a hired killer, lying to the world, wasn't enough for you. You've run out of power, Samuel. You're running on empty. You're the son of all that is evil. 
in my religion and yours. There's only one kind of evil. It's universal. It's not true. It's not true. She's a liar. She's... No, not me. I'm the woman who loved you. Who you robbed. Tell them, Sarah. Tell them I'm the choker. <coughs> You are not the chosen one. You are the devil. You, Samuel Mortem. And I'm tired of suffering in silence, of suffering in your shadow. <laughs> Don't you think we ought to go thank Madam Moon? Thank her for what? For getting you and me together? Yeah. And me too! And you too! <laughs> All right. What are you waiting for? What happened to her place? It's still a beautiful view. You who do not know life, how can you know death? Confucius. Look. She's left something of herself behind. <laughs> 